Hello and welcome to another solo edition of Theory Craft, hosted by yours truly, Ben. Today I want to discuss my thoughts and theories on the TV series known as Doctor Who. One of the longest running sci-fi series and obviously one of the most beloved series by myself as well as many other fans. Over the years obviously we've had a few ups and downs with the stories and characters but the biggest issue I have with the latest series is that they've decided that after almost 60 years the Doctor is actually no longer a Time Lord but some other alien race entirely that we have no clue who, what, where and how and yet it just, I don't know, it makes it more complicated, it makes it feel like the writers don't respect the actual history of the show, that they're just trying to do their own thing and sod the rest of the logic of the series. Now I understand as a writer that you're trying to make a name for yourself, you are very limited by what you can do when you've got a series that's been going on for so long. But at the same point, there are a lot of plot holes and there's a lot of plot points that they could delve into deeper, such as the Doctor's granddaughter that was left on Earth back in the very early on series, back in the 1960s. Or you could even delve into the clone daughter of David Tennant's Doctor, who just came back to life and went shooting across the universe and that was it. Like, at the end of the day, I understand that there's only so much that can be written on the sci-fi series, but this past series has felt like it's not even Doctor Who anymore, like there were so many political points within one series, and while I do understand that you've got to try and be a bit careful of what you write and what you say, I don't understand why sci-fi has to delve into what's going on in the rest of the world because me personally, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, likes to watch fantasy stuff, sci-fi stuff or any type of fiction just to escape reality because we don't like having to be reminded of the chaos that's going on. That's why we watch all this fantasy fiction stuff. Like It's a different world. We can escape for five minutes without having to be reminded the chaotic world that we live in. I mean, obviously there are other points that I'm still trying to scratch my head over, like, obviously the original plot was that the Doctor only had 13 regeneration cycles, and then they ended up using up too many, so they got stuck in a situation, that's why they had to give Matt Smith's Doctor a new cycle regenerations, but then again, that conflicts with the whole latest point, as I said earlier, that the Doctor's not even Time Lord themselves. It just makes things ten times more complicated when you've decided that, oh yeah, like this little girl is actually the Doctor, but we had to wipe the Doctor's memory, so the Doctor that we got is actually just halfway through their original life, as far as we know. What are you trying to add to this? Like... Whatever that we're going to get, we're obviously not going to be happy. But at the same point, it just feels like the writers aren't even trying to listen to the law, listen to what they've had to deal with for the past 60 years. They just want to do their own thing and just sob the rest of us. But there we go. That's my thoughts and theories on today's topic of Doctor Who. Obviously, I'm more than happy to read people's opinions down in the comments below. If you've got any other subjects that you think we should talk about, just give us a hint. Like, me and Jack can only do so much. And as always, give us a like, and we'll see you all soon.